hello and welcome to another video on the channel now just to be clear it's going to be more so of a casual slash freeform video as i don't have anything particular to say i thought i'd really just hop on and document this pivotal moment in my life and pontificate slash reflect on my life so far so this pivotal moment is like sort of a mini dark night of the soul where i can truly say that i'm purging off these old feelings thoughts and emotions and my trauma and stepping into new uncharted territory with new connections and new experiences. Um, if you've seen the videos I've been posting recently, they've been relevant to my present, but it's also been like a it's a, a closing out an old chapter of my life, essentially. It's an old chapter, but it's been going on for years. Um, it's finally reaching its uh, true conclusion, honestly. And it's essentially been me living, reliving my trauma and articulate it in a manner where I can truly move forward and also maybe help other people along the way. But it's been me essentially catching up to my life now, where I can truly say that I am at that point where I'm present and moving into new territory. Like I said, with new connections, new beginnings, and a whole new life essentially, where I've, I believe I can confidently, I can confidently say that I've passed all the trials I've had to go through, all the karma, all the, relationships all the lessons i've learned i can truly say that i can move forward in this next period of my life like i said ultimately i take full responsibility over the course of my life and i understand why things worked the way they did in my life but i also have to recognize that there were genuinely people working against me for whatever reason like i can ascribe it to jealousy envy hatred um to being manipulated and just being generally stupid. <laughs> was, it's just, it's, it's true. It's true. They're really stupid, honestly. Dumb people. <laughs> really dumb people, man. But, like I said, I don't have any hatred for them or anything. I don't take it personally. But it's been, it's, I can't say that it hasn't been tough to get through. Like it took a lot of strength, willpower, and it's truly only been me for myself. I have my own back emotionally and mentally to deal with this stuff. Because, I had no real support from anyone else. No real, real support. Like, people can say they try to be there for me. They've been there for me. But it's been fake people. And it hasn't been really any real support. Like, I really, truly, really needed. Uh, like, someone to really have my back. And, like, <laughs> they never have my back. It's, it's always been a knife on my back. Not really having my back. But, uh, it's, which has been like that from, uh, like, an early age of my life. It's truly only been there for me. I've really, it's not... It's not a, an exaggeration to say that emotionally, I've always been there for myself to cope with and deal with life. It's truly only been me there for myself. Um, throughout every stage of my life, it's been like that. It's been a repeated cycle. And it does, has hurt, damaged me, I guess you could say, and I'm still trying to heal emotionally from that. But I could say that I do have gratitude for that because it put me on a path that most people don't walk. And I know that in the end, if I continue to walk this path, that I will have true fulfillment in life and truly actualize my potential and achieve everything that I want to achieve in a sense that where I'll be fulfilled spiritually. So I want to say that also that I'm proud of myself. So when I look back on this in 10 years and <laughs> see everything that I've been through and how I made it through this dark period and into my striving and thriving and what I'm really truly meant to do, I can be proud of myself for making it this far I'm going to be even more proud of myself when I make it even further and look back on this video. So all I can really say now is that I'm truly stepping into a new period of my life where chapters are really closing, relationships are closing out, and I can truly move forward. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do next on the channel. I may continue these series, but I think I'm ultimately done with those because I don't have any more to add. I've reached the, the present, basically, and I've caught up. So the Twin Flame series, I don't know where that's going to go. Um, it's been an interesting phenomenon to experience and an interesting thing to articulate on, but I don't really have much more to add to that series, honestly. And with narcissism, I essentially said everything useful that I had to say from my experience. And it's not, not more, much more I can add to that. Um, so I, I might just take a break from the channel for a little bit and focus on my other channel, Unconscious Games. Or I may just take a break in general, honestly. I think I, I, think I really deserve a break. <laughs> I think, I, think I, I really do just deserve it to take it slow and to just enjoy this period right now and then maybe pick it back up sometime later in the future. I don't know. I truly take it as a huge accomplishment to even make it this far. 
like I haven't even gone into any detail in the series that I've made so far, but it, it's been tough. It's been definitely tough, and I have truly met the like the worst people ever. <laughs> like seriously, like people who truly, truly don't have any emotions, any feelings, a soul, who truly will do anything to destroy you for whatever reason. I don't know, but I'm moving past that now. And I can truly say that I'm content with life now, and I'm really going to take things slow from that, from now on, and appreciate my life in the present moment, and the new people that will come into my life, who will I know for a fact will be better, due to the lessons I've learned, and being able to avoid these toxic people that I've had to deal with so far, and having confidence in myself, and not letting anyone drag me down to a lower level, or even doubting myself ever again. So, future me, when you're watching back on this, <laughs> I want you to think about everything you've been through and how far you made it. And, you know, I know things will be looking up. They're already looking up, honestly. Like, I've made it to this point. It's been very, very difficult, but I'm proud of myself for even making it to this point. And I can truly say that I'm grateful. For everything that's happened and all my experiences, I has been deeply tough and they're really they're still closing out in the sense of my life. It's not really it hasn't reached its real conclusion yet. But I am grateful for all that has happened and for where it's gonna take me in the future. So I don't really have much more to add to that. If I feel the need to make a video, if I have something um something meaningful to say, then I will. If not, then I won't. So You'll see me when you see me again. Again, I have great gratitude for the people of my past. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck, fuck you. But I wish you the best in life. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it. Truly, until next time. And I wish you all, whoever's watching this, made it this far, the best in life.